At the beginning of the play, before Caliban even makes an appearance, he is already dehumanized by the other characters. Shakespeare uses zoomorphism, saying sick rats had a litter. Prospero also calls him a freckled whelp, suggesting he is seen as a wild animal. It is interesting that a whelp could also be any creature regarded with dislike. The audience is made to perceive Caliban as a savage. The first appearance of Caliban in the Globe performance in 2013 shows him walking on four legs. Even characters of a lower class dehumanise Caliban. Trinkolo questions whether he is a man or a fish. This emphasises how long, how low Caliban is on the great chain of being. The character of Caliban is also used by Shakespeare to explore the theme of post-colonialism. Caliban states, This island's mine, by Sycorax my mother, which thou takest from me. Similarly to the Native Americans, he has accepted the newcomers and was used and robbed of his power. Perhaps Shakespeare is commenting on the negative effects of colonisation. The idea of cultural imperialism is also explored. Language is a part of Caliban's identity, which Prospero described as gabble. A sense of arrogance and superiority can therefore be seen by the colonisers. On the other hand, Prospero treated Caliban with human care. It could be argued that if Caliban didn't attempt to rape Miranda, he would have still been treated with respect. Caliban is used as a tool for the expression of Shakespeare's transgressive views. Caliban is presented as witty, suggesting signs of intelligence. He rebels against Prospero's control, saying, You taught me language, I know how to curse. However, some critics say that by rejecting knowledge and language, Caliban remains in a blissful ignorance about his oppression. Towards the end of the play, Stefano and Trinculo are distracted from their plan when they see Prospero's rich garments. Caliban realises that such finery is unimportant. Leave it alone, thou fool, it is but trash. In Jacobean times, clothes were a symbol of wealth and status. This shows that Caliban is not motivated by money. He has more self-awareness than Stefano and Trinculo. Caliban is also portrayed as a victim of emotional manipulation. He is referred to as a slave by nearly all other characters, to the point where he seems to believe this himself, becoming his part of his identity. He tells Stefano, I will kiss thy foot, I pray thee be my god. Caliban has been a slave for so long that freedom to him is simply defined as being free from Prospero's tyranny. Caliban's character can also be seen through a Christian interpretation. His journey relates to the Adam and Eve story and the tree of knowledge. He was given the gift of language but betrays Prospero by the attempted rape of Miranda. Stefano also refers to him as a moon calf, meaning someone who is born deformed. In Jacobean times, deformity was seen as an outer manifestation of an evil soul. However, Caliban also goes through the journey of sin and salvation. I'll be wise hereafter and seek for grace. This has religious connotations as Caliban was forgiven by Prospero and has therefore reached salvation. Finally, Shakespeare has left Caliban's future ambiguous. The audience is left to assume that when Prospero leaves, he will leave Caliban on the island. It would be hard to imagine that Prospero would take such a monster back to the mainland.